Everybody knows that George is king of the jungle, master of all he surveys. That's right, George. Show that lizard how we treat dinosaurs in our jungle. We suplex them. But who's at the bottom of nature's grand hierarchy? Few creatures inspire as much derision as the ring-tailed leaf licker. <laughs> hey, maybe it's the fungus that grows between rhino toes. Or could it be someone else? 124, 125, 125! Oh, seriously? Close, but even this little guy's three rungs up from Magnolia. Another new parasite. Fantastic! I'll call you, um, Midgley Jr. <laughs> Einstein, Curry, Copernicus, no making fun of the new kid. Oh, great. Breakfast time. Yeah! <laughs> Need food to make new blood. Ah, my face! My face! Sometimes I hate this place! Okay, get a hold of yourself, Magnolia. It's... it's not so bad. George! Where are you? is the distress call of the hook-billed hiccup bird. So? It's a World Animal Council endangered species, which means it's a priority rescue. If George doesn't rescue endangered species, the World Animal Council gets very, very upset. There. All safe, hiccup birdie. <laughs> Hi. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. What was that? Oh, sorry. Magnolia need new place to sleep now. I need a new place. I'll show that feathered squatter some sweet science. Magnolia, bird endangered. That mean he get first choice of home. <laughs> All under control. You can't be serious. Endangered species, huh? Two can play at that game. And we'll see who gets the last hiccup. Magnolia set to work. Years of creatively filling out grant applications would finally pay off. to shave two seconds off the next rescue, okay? Huh. We received a memo this morning saying you had rescue priority. Clearly it was a mistake. Mistake this, Furface! I'm officially an endangered species! Magnolius Terrificus? Please, George. We're leaving. You can't! I'm the last of my species! My kind used to live in Happy Science Valley. We frolicked with our hypotheses and experiments until one sad day, Grant Money Lake just dried up. We were devastated and lost hope. And then we all got dysentery or something. You're a woman in your 20s with a science major and a liberal arts minor. You're hardly endangered. Magnolia's story, so sad. Magnolia hungry? Want back rub? Anything Magnolia need, just tell George. I'll take it. But this is where George and I live. Uh, 
Magnolius Terrificus needs proper shelter. The slightest sniffle could spell our doom. You can forget that. <clears throat> <laughs> no, no worry, Magnolu Terrificus. George and Ape find new place to live. <laughs> She'd better feel awfully guilty right now. Okay. Aha! Gotcha! You don't want to do that! Magnolia okay? No, I'm not okay. Ursula's is the only natural predator of Magnolia's Terrificus, so do something about it! Magnolia, no worry. We take Ursula to Exile Island. You do what? Yes, Exile Island. It's the locked, forgotten attic of the jungle. A place to hide all of nature's mistakes. <laughs> has gone far enough. I'm just getting started, baby. Magnolia, think of the jungle species that are actually endangered, like the no-legged zebra. How do you think the chocolate elephants feel? Think of all the animals we're losing while George is busy rescuing you. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that the part where I'm suddenly supposed to start caring? Look, Magnolia, I know life in the jungle can be hard for you. Hard? Hard? You have no idea what my life is like. I was eaten three times yesterday. Three by the same snake. Don't push your luck. This certificate makes everything all better. <laughs> it's my ticket to the first class section of the jungle. That's it. Uh, give that to me. Nah, uh, uh. She leaves me no choice. A word? Ah, another beautiful... <gasps> what? What's uh, happened? Ow! My endangered nose! Good morning, Magnolia! Oh, sorry, I mean Magnolia's Terrificus. Welcome to your new World Animal Council Sanctuary. Let me out! I'm afraid we can't do that. Magnolia delicate, so Magnolia put in cage for protection. What's that? Why, it's breakfast. No more ice cream for you. Just a scientific blend of dry seaweed and weak old graham crackers. <laughs> No worry, Magnolia. It tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, exercise time. Ah, okay, okay. I hate you all so much right now. You can't keep me long. Oh, snake pants. Ah! 
magnolias is real? Hmm. Me too. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you speak dolphin? Money, silly. Yay! I'm I'm finally home. Wee! A grant money. Wee! <laughs> Let her sleep it off. Besides, I think she's in a very happy place. Two desperate figures run for their lives. Carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. Ah! How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can, can we do a flashback or something? Sweet. Thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating make George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat? Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra! Patrick, good friend! Hey, what's that convenient noise? Big deal. It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend, bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack. Brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post snack, snack, snacks, pre dinner, post lunch, pre snack, snack, post lunch. The second reason bananas are our most precious resource they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Uh, loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. Mmm, hint of feet. Maybe we should try it with more bananas. Hmm. I call it the thought doer. No. What George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Now me! <laughs> Sky bananas taste even better than normal bananas! You're just wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. 
Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. What happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> what have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. It begins. All bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Shh. Just slowly and quietly. There's only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, ape okay. Run! Run for your lives! <laughs> must fix ape and save jungle! But there's only two bananas left! Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Whoa, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay, is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us, and us as the bananas? Yes, then apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighty anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra! Spell no work. You terrible banana magician. I've got it! We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle! To the sacred banana mating ground! <laughs> and so, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't eat, um, doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more nanas. You two want to play hardball? <laughs> we can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold up eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your
your lesson. Oh, oh. oh wait. Um, uh, hold on, I've got this. Right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George stay here and... Lick this slug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? It's a good idea. Behold the jungle scientist, focused in her pursuit of knowledge. <laughs> Patient in her quest for understanding. Come on! I've seen faster glaciers! Sorry, sorry. Master of jungle camouflage. The purple paisley panther, never before seen by humans. Stop! My cornea! No, no, no come back! Must do science research. Must win Nobel Prize. And the Nobel Prize goes to Not Magnolia. I'm a complete science failure. Wait, there is another award. Huh? The absolutely will never win a Nobel Prize award goes to Magnolia. <laughs> Wait, even insects think I'm hilarious. We are not insects. We are crunch bugs. Are you an invertebrate? Well, do you have six legs? I, I uh, Insect. Listen, it doesn't matter. Now, please, extend your tongue so Queen Crunchetta can welcome you with her sacred taste bud tango. Extend my... <laughs> have any more. <laughs> Look, buddy, if I was a crazy delicious bug, I wouldn't go around dancing on other people's tongues. <laughs> You're doing it again! Sorry, sorry. You know you guys are better than peanuts, right? I'll go now. Hey! Oh, mama! <sighs> Nothing like a full belly to make you forget your troubles. Oh, right. I'm a failure. Great. Now I'm going to get leeches in my underwear again. Or worse, I'm Chow. Unless I throw my binoculars against that rock, which will tip and fall on that log, which will arc the honey badger into that crocodile's mouth, and it'll make him cry, and his friends will leave because they're so embarrassed, and all the noise will wake up that hippo. <laughs> than before, but how? Hey, what's up there? It's off 
obvious from the monkey's tail movements and the tiger's wedding ring that they're a couple, which means a brand new species that I've already written up in an award-winning paper? I'm a genius! It's science time! And the answer to the meaning of life and everything is 42? Huh, I thought it would have been more. The cure for lizard wart fever. There you go, buddy. That, that wasn't supposed to happen. <gasps> My new genius. It's fading. And I don't know why, because I'm not a genius anymore. Magnolia. George, make fruit platter in jungle cooking class. Magnolia, try. Huh? This looks just like a... Oh, my gosh. I know what happened to my smarts. Uh, bye. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Maybe. Queen Grunchetta was beloved by all, and we will never forget. Make me smart! Make me smart! You again! Get out of here! Sorry! Sorry! Just gonna take a few more of you to the road. <laughs> And therefore, I think you'll see that wood magnets are a perfect, um, a perfect... Oh, oh yeah, that's the brain juice. <laughs> brain juice? Oh, George, hi! I wasn't eating hundreds of defenseless jungle creatures or anything. <laughs> George, here, mini screaming. It's uh, lemurs. Out there somewhere. They always scream really quietly when they're in trouble. Don't say screaming lemurs! <sighs> you might fool George, but I know what a screaming lemur sounds like, and Elmas! is not it. Um... Ah! Hey! Lemur's mad at George for waking them up! <laughs> ah! Ah! George! <laughs> Brought by any time! <laughs> Magnolia eating hundreds of defenseless jungle creatures? Magnolia, you know we all care about you. Ursula not care. But first, Magnolia must admit she have problem. There's no problem. I'm a science genius. That first problem. And this is the second. <gasps> it's worth it for the smarts. You turn into Crunch Bug! Cool! No, not cool! Ugh. Magnolia, you have to stop eating Crunch Bugs, no matter how smart they make you! I tried that, but I keep changing! Ah! Yeah. Oh! I promise I'll change! I'll never eat another Crunch Bug again! Here is time. Let the Crunch Bug cleansing ceremony begin! Um, before we do this, can I have one last bite? No! How about just half a bite? No! A nibble? What did I just say? Okay, fine! Sheesh! Sorry! <laughs> hey! I didn't know you guys made silk! Wow! You guys are really cocooning me up here! This is gonna fix all the bug stuff, right? Right? The cleansing ceremony is complete! Uh, uh, great! I'm cured! Yes, cured of your non-crunch bugness. Say what? All hail Queen Magnolia, our new crunch bug queen! Queen Magnolia, Queen Magnolia! You? What did you do? Well, I think it's pretty obvious and uh, only foul since you ain't our old queen. Uh, I've got six legs and a thorax. Turn me back. Turn me back. Well, I'm so 
story. I only know the turn you into a bug ceremony. Now, let's get to laying those eggs. <laughs> George, you gotta help me! Ah! Go, 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 go. Stop, stop! Stop it! It's me, Magnolia! Hey, you new Crunchbug Queen! Congrats! But I don't want to be Crunchbug Queen! <gasps> but there hasn't been a Crunchbug abdication since all six! Just know, I'm doing it for love. I don't care! I'm a giant bug! Hmm. Point taken. And then there's the millions of eggs you'll have to lay. I don't want to be Crunchbug Queen. I don't want to be Crunchbug Queen. I'm a scientist, so maybe I should start acting like one. With or without crunch bugs. Without eating a single crunch bug! As science is my witness, I will never eat crunch bugs again! Come back to the nest, Queen Magnolia! Your crunch bugs need you! No! And no! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Apologize to Tasty Bugs first. They turned me into this! You ate a thousand of us! Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. After all, I made this cure all on my own. See? Ta-da! Gosh, shark farts! Next time I give up crunch buns after I make the cure. Oh! Oh, disgusting! We are out! Our new queen! <laughs> sure. Magnolia makes great slug queen. Behold the jerko lemming, one of the jungle's most elusive creatures. Jerko lemmings are well known for throwing themselves off cliffs. Ha! My research will blow the lid off that old wives' tale. They don't throw themselves off cliffs. These little jerks toss other animals off cliffs. Get don't no way to treat King of Jungle! <laughs> <laughs> You forget science, Geek! <laughs> hey, no! Put me down! I'm doing this for science! Well, Miss Scott, that's a fine example of what we in the academic world would call a complete, total, dare I say, breathtaking failure! You were supposed to study the Jerko Lemmings, not become their prey. A good scientist doesn't get involved. Hey! Oh, this is bombed again. I don't even remember leaving that shot in there. The only thing you've proven is that falling off a cliff can ruin one short-term memory. Who fall off cliff? I I don't remember. Perhaps you don't have the right stuff for jungle science. Professor Lang, please don't make me go back to the science I was doing before. <laughs> Whales are big inside. Lucky for you, you still managed to capture science gold. Huh? Who is this feral woman? Where did she come from? How did she grow all those extra teeth? That's Ursula, and that's all we know. She isn't one for small talk. Also very bitey. This Ursula is a discovery that can make me science famous. I'd be right up there with Einstein, Newton, and... Whoever invented the internet. And it's about time that jungle coughed up something interesting. Him. Hello, talking ape here. I've been to the circus, Furball! <laughs> Find out more about that jungle girl, and maybe I won't send you back to real gut research. Thanks for helping, guys. Make sure you tape everything. I'll need backup if I'm going to get close to Ursula and not, you know, die. For science! Okay, George, roll it! With her 
unparalleled ferocity, Ursula is capable of intimidating animals much larger than herself. <laughs> Are you getting this? George, not idiot. Hypothesis. Ursula's a lost Bavarian princess who was stranded here when her royal parents crashed their private jet. New hypothesis. One of Ursula's parents was a snake. Come on! We need to follow her! If she can do it, so can I! Maybe we could lure Ursula to us instead? It's important to stay hidden or she'll never take the bait. Maybe we could just study her unconscious? If that doesn't stop her in her tracks, this sure will! She's coming! Bye! Does she sound closer to you guys? Okay, new plan. How's this? Wow, Magnolia looks like she's lost all sense of fashion. Ursula let me get close if she thinks I'm like her. So this is the wild me. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need another stick in my hair? Magnolia, Magnolia, Magnolia of the jungle. Scientist she'd like to be. Magnolia, Magnolia, Magnolia of the Jungle. She wants a PhD. <laughs> oh, George wish he had theme song too. Shh. I'll be fine, right? <laughs> oh yeah, You'll be fine. no problem. Great, wish me luck. <laughs> 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 Under the stars, following her finely honed instincts. Fighting many different things. But I've got hours and hours of film. See? Told you. I've got pages and pages of notes. Powerful, scribbled notes. Notes aren't gonna cut it, bookworm. I need that animal lady in the flesh. How else can I show her off at university? 
universities, labs, and freak shows all over the world! Have you no seen King Kong? He's right. Didn't you see that film? This episode's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Trapping Ursula is extremely dangerous. Wrong. As lead researcher, you'd earn a coveted stool in my laboratory. It even comes with a real microscope. No, I won't exploit Ursula. Not even for science. Bah, you're not the first researcher to turn tree hugger, which is why I've initiated Plan B. Jungle Girl at one o'clock. Fire! George, save Ursula! George, watch out for that! Cage. Look who's here, Weevil. George of the Jungle and his ape, uncreatively named Ape. Release Ursula this instant! Yeah! Do that now! How about I get you both out of the way in record time instead? Yeah, George likes to see that. How? It's all right here in George of the Jungle and Ape, how to get them out of the way in record time by Magnolia Scott. I was hurting for material. My dreams of academic success were finally within reach. All I had to do was help Tiger and Weevil tear Ursula from her jungle home. Poor jungle! A little hell, Magnolia? George, sure she come right back. Ah! 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 Jungle Girl has a weird twin. We'll get paid twice. I didn't really think this through. Two legs versus four wheel drive. I don't think so. Yeah? How about a thousand legs? Hey, jerk -a lemmings Wakey, wakey! Out of the way, rodents, tiger! <laughs> Mother! What do you mean you let her go? Ursula's not your private zoo animal. She deserves to be free! Listen, you miserable postgrad! Get me that jungle girl or <laughs> let these filthy rodents in! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Unhand me! I am senior! Magnolia in trouble with teacher lady? Eh, fortunately getting tossed off a cliff really messes up your short-term memory. And some things are more important than science. Like our wild girl friendship. Right, Ursula? <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful morning in the jungle as its inhabitants wait to face another day of fighting for their very survival. Hey, get off me! We had a deal, Bernard. Oh, oh, that's how it's gonna be. Fine. Is your spleen ticklish, huh? <laughs> okay, Magnolia, get it together. You're living the dream. Nothing like the life of a jungle scientist. <laughs> nope. Nope. Nuh uh. Two weeks in a row. Oh. <laughs> You can do this. You're tough. You're ready. You're a jungle scientist. You're Magnolia! Why? Why does everything here hate me so much? Oh. Mmm. <gasps> Thank you, Patrick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> a devil. Oh. We'd love to.
Life good here. You said it, George. <laughs> Magnolia, please have nice time too. Abenard, <laughs> that's right. Are you okay, Magnolia? I don't belong here. No one belong in Snake. No, I mean, you all belong in the jungle. I don't. I'm just a science geek in bad cargo shorts. Even the quicksand has it out for me. No, you part of jungle, just like us. Indeed. All you need is a little cheering up. What I need is to go back to my tent, have a cry, and write my resignation letter. Hey, right. We take you for a super cheer up jungle fun trip. I really don't want to. Do it. How did you? Don't worry about that. We're here for fun. Cannonball! Wait! <laughs> that part's full of piranha! <laughs> <laughs> it okay, Magnolia. Piranha good pals. See? We all jungle friends. Well, okay then. Cannonball! Oh, me forget they like foreign food. Mmm, tasty lunch. Dig in, Magnolia. They're organic and free range. Have these ever been tested? I mean, how do you know if they're safe to eat? Um, oh, George eat some city with Tiny George. Mm, no problem. And we apes have enjoyed burger trees for generations. Okay. Mm, you guys are right. It's delicious. <laughs> How were you to know you were allergic? I should have guessed. <laughs> Great. What's this? Some secret I'm not jungle enough to know? Yes. I mean, no. No, 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 no secret. We were just discussing what fun place to go next. Yes, come now, come. This is dumb. I should just go. <laughs> hey, wait, I've never been to this part of the jungle before. Hey, I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, poop. Great, just one more reason why I don't belong here. Even my so-called friends forgot about me. I'll go back to my tent and then back to the city. Which way is my tent? That way? Uh, uh oh, maybe through there. No, no, it, it's got to be past that tree. Huh. What's he looking at? Whatever it is, must be delicious. It's me, isn't it? I'm delicious. <laughs> Okay, okay, I know we went south this morning, so my tent has to be north. Uh, okay, lucky compass, don't fail me. No! no! North, north, how do I find north? And... You're a magnet! Ha! North! Ah! Why is my life so hard? There's got to be a way across. Use those degrees, Magnolia. If I pluck a feather from that bird, it'll squawk and wake up that snake, which will push over that rock, which will roll and knock over that tree, then domino those trees and make a bridge across the chasm. Yes! I knew Jungle Physics 202 wasn't a waste! I hate physics! Go! Not like it either, buddy, but it's the only way. Where's your spleen? Pickle, 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 pickle. Ah! Yes! Ha! Take that! What you gonna do now, pussycat, huh? Fly! Just go log to log. <laughs>
You can do this! Ah! Oh my gosh! The teeth! How can I tell the logs from the crocodiles? Oh, I hate you, evolution! My piggies are so blistered, I bet I can feel the difference. Croc! Log! Log! Croc! Log! Croc! 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 Log! Log! Ha! Personal high five! Hey! That's not fair! You're not even symbiotic species! <laughs> Just leave! Because tigers never give up the hunt. They're jerks like that. Ape? You've been here the whole time, you fuzzy little... Ah! What? Oh. Oh! I get it. This is where I go nuts from being alone and starving in a cave for a month. <laughs> Maybe crazy only way survive. <laughs> Not stupid. Smart! You smart to hide in here. Except you not notice jungle vending machine. That's kind of dumb. Magnolia's smart about science and jungle. So use brain thinky thing one more time to beat Tiger. Me believe in you. What do you know? You're just a pile of <laughs> rotten coconuts. But maybe, maybe you're right. What kind of jungle scientist would I be if I let this jungle beat me? It's go time, baby! you with a little celebration of your jungle anniversary. But you forgot me in the jungle! We just needed a little time to set up your surprise party. I was lost for six months! Yeah, you think that's strange too, especially since we only lose you over there. And left you a map, food, and an arrow pointing this way. But wow! You survive alone for six months? You as jungle as us for sure. Let's put that to the test. But run! Thank <laughs> you.